Got the barnacle mate mounted down below here and we've got it mounted upside down to fit everything in nicely with uh, the existing wiring. What we're gonna do is add the barnacle mate into the barnacle through the app. So we're gonna click on the settings, click add device, and then we're gonna select barnacle mate. So it prompts you to connect the ba uh, barnacle mate to a battery before continuing, which we've already done. We're gonna scan the QR code on the mate and let's see here we'll scan that there we go now it's going to add the mate to your barnacle there it is she's added to the barnacle all we're going to do is add a samsung smart things wireless sensor to the barnacle mate and to do that we're going to go into the barnacle app press settings and select add device and we're going to do the multi-purpose sensor first which is the door window contact with built-in temperature sensor we click on the the device we open up the box and grab the data matrix or qr code that's located inside the box and on the back of the sensor so we're going to scan it off the back of the box first so we press scan then we're going to scan it through there Finding the sensor, the sensor is found. Now it says remove the tab from the sensor, which is located at the base of the actual sensor called remove when connecting. We'll remove that, we'll press next. We can see that there's a light on the sensor itself, which may be fairly faint. We saw it was green, it is now registering with the barnacle mate connected now we get to give it a name this is our main entryway so we're gonna call this main entry adding the sensor all right so it prompts you to add another device we're gonna exit for now if we go back to the main screen we'll actually see the new sensor is added and it's going to show no data available to start for main entry. So what we're going to do is just trigger that contact that you can see immediately went to closed. We'll open it. And we'll see that it now changes to open. And that confirms that we have now connected a Samsung multi-purpose sensor into the barnacle mate. All right, so we've added a Samsung multi-purpose sensor into this transom storage locker. And uh, there's multiple storage lockers here, and we've got one of them connected where we can currently see that it's open. And when we close it, we can see that it now shows closed. And now you can get an alert and a photograph if someone ever opens this while the system's armed. We're gonna add a Samsung SmartThings motion sensor to the barnacle mate now. In order to do that, we're gonna go into the barnacle settings page, click add device, then we're gonna select the motion sensor, and now it's asking us to scan the QR or data matrix code on the inside of the motion sensor's box. So what we're gonna do is we can either scan the box or we can scan the back of the sensor. So it found the motion sensor here. And now it's saying to remove the tab that says remove when connecting. So we have our motion sensor here. There's our tab. So all I'll do is I'll just remove that. We'll press next. And we see the green light, meaning that it has found the sensor. It's now connecting and registering this sensor to the system. We'll press next. This is a motion sensor. We'll simply just call it motion. We'll press next, adding the sensor, ask if you'd like to add another sensor and at this time we will not, press exit. We will now see that a new sensor is added onto your stats grid on the Barnacle app. Now for the motion sensor, what we've done is we typically have the motion sensor sitting face down for a period of time and that will basically reset the motion sensor so that it detects no motion and then after about a minute, we lift up the motion sensor again and we will see it go into an alert state.